Hello, my name is James Setterberg and I'm a CPA here at Elevation Tax and I'm going to spend the next couple of minutes going over the instructions for the files that were sent to you via email. Before I start, I want to note that the email screenshots in this video are taken from Outlook. So if you have Gmail, Yahoo, or another email provider, the location of the attachments and design of the email will look different. Uh, despite the difference, the process will still be the same. At a minimum, two files would have been sent to you. The maximum amount could vary. It is possible to have as many as four, maybe even more files. Regardless of the amount, be sure to download and save each file to your computer. Since the returns were sent via email, we password protect each file. An email that contains the password will be sent to you right around the time the instruction email was sent. In order to open a file, you'll need to double click on the attachment you wish to open. When clicked, you'll be prompted to enter the password. After entering the password, click OK and you'll then have access to the file. You can then save the file to your computer. I will now go over each file you received. For sure, at least two files would have been sent to you, the client file and the federal tax file. The client file contains the federal return, supporting statements and schedules, and if applicable, any state returns. Use this file for your own review. If you encounter any inaccuracies, please notify us so we can make the correction. Do not sign and send the tax returns to the taxing authorities if a return is inaccurate. We will need to update the return and send you the new files. We recommend that you keep a copy of this file for your records. The federal tax file is the return you'll need to print, sign, and mail to the IRS. I want to go over two pages of this file, the instruction page and the signature page. The instruction page will be the very first page of the federal file. Here is where you'll find the due date, forms to be filed, address to mail the file, any payment or refund due, and the transaction method. The transaction method will give instructions of how to pay any balance due, if you owe, how you will receive a refund if a refund is due, and notify you that no payment or refund is due if neither apply. This is the first page of Form 1120. Here is where an officer will need to sign, date, and write in his or her title. When signed, be sure to mail all pages in the file to the address on the instruction page. One form you may receive is a state file. In this video, I'm going to use a California return as an example. Like the federal file, the state file will also have an instruction page on the first page. You will find the due date, forms to be filed, any payment or refund due, address to mail the file, and the transaction method. Note that some states require payment by check. If that is the case, a voucher will be included as part of the state file. You will also need to sign the return before mailing. For the state of California, an officer is required to sign, write in his or her title, and date. Other states may have similar requirements. When signed, be sure to mail all pages in the file to the address on the instruction page. Another file you may receive is an estimated tax payment voucher. Here's an example of a voucher. Although this is for the state of California, other vouchers, including federal and other state vouchers, will look similar to this. These are payments that are made for the current tax year. There can be up to four vouchers, so pay close attention to each due date. The instructions for filing are listed here, and the due date is listed here. For mailing payments, be sure to detach here and mail the voucher along with payment. If there are other forms that are part of your file that are not included in this video, those instructions will be located in the body of the email. These forms can possibly include annual reports and local returns. Be sure to mail all pages of the required files. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you.